Good morning. Well, it's actually afternoon. And Mr. Dirty here. Say hello. He's my ace in the hole to get viewers to watch. I really have nothing to talk about today. So um, it was a great day for finally sunshine getting outside. So I thought, well, let's just show him something. Uh, what I have on. And first of all, yes. we have more soap and something more special to talk about. First off, we'll do so. I have little black dress. Actually, I guess I should hold it that way. I had to make it upside down because the skirt was so wide I couldn't put it at the bottom of the mold. So that's it. It's, oh, that is such a nice, sophisticated floral. Um, I had to have my husband slice it because um, to make the cutouts, I had to make, um, you know, thin and then like cookies cut out the black. And you can't do it too thick if it's soap because it's really hard. <laughs> so I made, you know, thicker than what you see here. Anyway, uh, I had to have husband slice down to get so it would show. Because if the white was in front of it, you wouldn't see the dress. So that's a little black dress. And then Valentine's is coming. Here is pink sand soap. I just got this mold. I love it. I put some gold mica and then some white detailing on it. And what does he think? Oh, he's going to sleep. Come here. Come here. Yes, meow. What do you think? That's pink sand. He's got some Arabian in him, so maybe there's some sand. Um, I'll connect to anything, won't I? The special thing that I'm going to show you, oh, and it's the same design, but a smaller mold. And I made this into a lotion bar. Um, you could call it a massage bar, but I'm thinking you might think there'd be the bumps that you rub that disappear anyway. But this is in Chanel number no. five. Here's the last bit of my Chanel number no. five. I've got to order some more. Um, the fragrance oil, but oh man, that smells good. Would you want to smell? No, he just doesn't care. Anyway, um, it's what's got in it beeswax, shea butter, jojoba, jojoba oil, and fragrance, and then a little bit of a yellow mica to make it um, more yellow. It was a little yellow because of the beeswax, um, but let me show you. Gosh, I'm so I'm unorganized because I have really no agenda here. So I made a little one for me because I had a little bit left over. And so I take leave the pretty design. And after you shower or whatever, you just rub it on and you rub it in. And all those oils just make you feel good. Probably if I was in Arizona where it's, you know, nice and warm, it would melt faster and everything. But sometimes I'll just rub it on me and I can smell like Chanel number no. five. Oh. Love that. Is that all that we're brought to you by? I think so. And so that is our sponsor for today's video. I went to, I just got back from the mailbox oh, and then I had to put this on lipstick on because um, I wanted to show you guys this. I got a card in the mail that was ah, totally surprised. I have to push him over. His foot's going to catch on the tripod. Look at this cute card. It's got um, all kinds of little, uh, what do you call it? Col uh, not col Columbine? I think it is Columbine. Anyway, flowers and butterflies. Hello, I just wanted to tell you how much I enjoy watching your videos. Thank you for making me smile. I'm so happy I found this community of lovely, caring ladies. You are a part of my life in a way. And then she has a little happy face. Love, Kathy. That's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys really touch my heart. I can't believe it. I always think I'm just kind of making these videos until I, you know, I always think I'm making these videos for just talking to me and my horse. Here's a tail. And um, then I get something like that, and there's, I love you guys. Look, I have, I have, I can imitate. I can have a wig. He's just about to leave, so I have to use up whatever him I have, right, for the video. Anyway, um, another book I'm reading. Because I'm soaping and I love fragrances, I'm always coloring these things, right? So this one is Victoria Finlay is the author and the name of its color. I had just started it. And it's going to take each color by itself and I think um, go through its history. Um, here's the European, it travels through a European paint box. I don't know that she goes to Asia or anywhere else, but let's see. Some of the chapters are ochre, black and brown, white, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Um, 
When I was growing up, um, I used to go to work, walk from the school to um, a church. Um, the minister's wife taught us art, and we used acrylics. And so I learned about colors like vermilion and crimson and burnt sienna, and their names of how they used to make the pigments. The pigments are made out of like beetles or minerals, like, you know, my micas for my soaps. And so it's going to really give me some history of what some of these, you know, old colors. I mean, we look at the old masterpieces and we, I, I took it for granted. You know, oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then I find out later they faded or something. Well, the people that made the colors, what did they call it? Color something. Anyway, um, people would make the colors for them. And come on over here. No. Come here. And um, they would sell the artists the colors. Well, sometimes they'd cheat and make not so good ones. And those not so good ones are the ones that faded and things. We're so sleepy because the sunshine came out. So anyway, this is going to be really interesting. And I'll let you know more about it as I go. Because I just started it last night. Um, see, now we're bored. He makes that noise too when I catch him in the morning. And I think it's just a relaxation sound. It's kind of like, what is it? When we go... It's supposed to relax you, like if you're nervous about something, just go. Oh, that's what they do all the time. Another way you can tell they're relaxed is when they're chomping their mouth. And that's good when they have their bit in because it keeps your mouth wet. A dry mouth isn't so good when you have a bit in your mouth. <laughs> oh, I brought the NARS thing. Um, I should put this in my empties because um, it's almost empty. It's hard to tell with this NARS guy. It's never put out a whole lot of product when I put it for my eyes. This is the... Um, smudge proof pro prime smudge proof eyeshadow base i like the um no don't please don't eat me i like the um, two-faced shadow insurance because it comes in a tube but that stuff came in a tube that would be really nice i felt a little ow. so on my lips i have on bites rhubarb and that just kind of was too brown for me yes it was too brown mm. So I just reached into my lip pencil jar and I found Lise Watier. And this one's a really scary color. <laughs> um, moisturizing. Rouge Flamingo. Flamingo. And when I wear it by itself, oh, it's a gorgeous color. Look at how metallic it is. But holy samoli, does your face go pow. So I save it for Christmas time? I forgot it. <laughs> I forgot it this whole Christmas season. So these two blended together make this. Then I was going to show you my, uh, you know, because I'm trying to think of something to talk about, right? And especially makeup, you know, makeup oriented lips are attracting all my hair. Uh, so I have Laura Mercier's um, caviar sticks. And let's see, the first two I got, now can you stop? I got amethyst. Now these are not going to come off my hand because I'm going to be outside too long for them to get washed off. I got the amethyst and then I got plum. Because, uh, because they're, <laughs> I know I'm getting a little frustrated, because they're in the same family, and so that was kind of fun to wear together, and you can kind of smudge them and, you know, go like that. And then they dry hard. Let's see. And then they dry indelible. So, you know, then you have that color on you. Yes, I know you're here. I want to show them my things. So then I was shopping with Chris, and I, I wanted something. So I got the, um, gray pearl because she would say oh it looks really pretty with the amethyst and well it does on me you can't really see it so here's the gray pearl above the amethyst and I'll smudge it a little bit so what I end up doing with that is using it like a uh, primer and it works great and next oh and then and then Iman sent me uh, Laura Mercier she sent me a little Laura Mercier kit it had an eye cream a uh, hand cream that i think was creme brulee and then this um caviar stick and this one is khaki and there's khaki next to the gray pearl now please don't eat me you know better than eating oh wait let's find the red one let's make up copyright There, happy. Come here. You got to show them this. Come here. Come here. Let's come around here. Come here. Ugh. Come on. Ow. My foot. Ugh. Come here. 
show them your heart. Come here. Back. Back. You're being a little lazy. Yeah. Whoa. Man, are we paying attention or not? Anyway, there is our little heart. Happy ba back. Back. We've gotten so lazy we just don't care anymore. Anyway, happy Valentine's. It's not Valentine's yet, but as you can see, a soapers are getting ready. So let's see, I put this in the refrigerator for a couple of minutes. Let's see if that gets it to come out. Yeah, it did. Oh, look, see, I did kind of the opposite. The other one I had pink with white and gold, and now I did white with pink and gold. So these are nice molds, but they're kind of hard to get stuff to come out of. And now it's working. If I get it cold like that, you got to be careful not to crack the mold. guys and then I'll work on those guys and pink sugar that's what the, the those um lotion bars are too oh it smells divine so getting ready for valentine's happy so I take a soap and lay it kind of in the middle well maybe a little, little bit lower take this side and pull it up and see that it only reaches that far so I need to go out here Cut and fold over, and then get it all straightened out and stretch over the top, stretch over the bottom, and hope that I'm going to cut off a little extra. There it is, and then I'll do heat gun, and then I'll suck it all together. So let's do it again. Maybe I'm in view, who knows. Get that nice and flat on the bottom, because that's where you're going to look. Over, over, straighten it around, pull tight, and stretch tight. That's why they call it stretch tight, right? Cut off the excess. See, I don't need gloves now, and it's going to be noisy, so I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to let you watch. one took a little bit longer because this had to heat up and then you I do the back and the sides and then the very pretty side is last and it just sucks it tight. Then after I label them, pretend I've labeled it, I put them all in their own gallon baggies so that they keep their scent and don't blend in with anybody else. And then I have to get them on Etsy. <laughs> I'm all excited about Valentine's, and I've made more, let's see if they come out, heart lotion bars. Uh -oh. Well, I might have to refrigerate it. <laughs> let's see if they come out of here. This is a different recipe. Hmm, that's not coming out. I was going to show you how I am. Well, I made soap. Let's see if I can get that to come out. And if it doesn't. Uh, nobody's coming out. Hmm. Well, 
everybody's gonna think it's bloody nose, but uh, <laughs> I tried to wipe off his red. There, I got the shadow off. I tried to wipe off the red. He's gonna go to sleep. There's a sleepy horse. So I'm gonna let these lotion bars sit for another. Oh, probably, I'm just let them sit overnight, and then they'll get all the way hard, and their pretty design will stay in, and I'll wrap just like I showed you I did the soap and photograph them and all that stuff and get them on Etsy. Thanks for putting up with me when I don't have anything to talk about and thank you for the beautiful card. You guys write the nicest things even in your comments and I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you again and until next time, bye bye.